I welcome you all with my love and respects. Welcome everyone who is sitting with us all over the world. When you listen to the sound of Kailasa, the power manifests in you is all the powers related to sound and verbalization. You can read your mind and others mind, whatever goes on anywhere, verbally you can see. Not only in you, in anybody, anywhere, what goes on inside them, the verbalization, you can directly see. I tell you, fundamentally, reading your own mind, ability to read your mind and read all your blind spots, that empowers you to read others. Understand? Reading your own mind is manifesting powerful cognitions. Reading others' mind is manifesting powers. That's all. How many of you are successfully able to do? Raise your hand. Wow. What a percentage. Keep the hands up. And just look around. All of you look around. And one more thing. When you read others' mind, it is not that you are exploiting, cheating or doing anything wrong. You will make, actually by reading their mind and informing them, you will make them understand many of the blind spots which they are not able to discover on their own. It is one of the very big spiritual support you are doing. A very big spiritual support you are rendering. See, many times, we are not ferocious with ourselves. We just try to be in the slumber of blind spots. Cozy, cute. Ooh. When others read that spot and expose that to you, you wake up and you can become ferocious with yourself. It's wonderful. Such large number is able to manifest the powers. Now let's experience Kailasha's length, breadth, depth, time, space. <laughs> Understand? This can happen only by the tremendous surrender to Mahasadashiva. You can't enter into his home by any demand. No. No aushada can work. No, he's not a serpent. You put some medicine and herb and he will listen to you. No. He's Naheshwara. He's not Naga. <laughs> Understand? It is deep surrender and devotion and reverence Humbleness, requesting Mahadeva, please grace us. Please grace us. It is only with the tremendous humbleness and surrender, with the tremendous respect, reverence, devotion, understand? As long as you exist in relative reality, be devoted. It is oneness. Oneness is the only currency which works on all the eleven dimensions. Dvaita, only four dimensions. Bhur, Bhuva, Suva, Tapa, that's all, not even Satyaloka. But now I am making a statement, as long as you are in relative existence, be devoted. Yes! Your third eye should be penetrated with the truth of oneness, Advaita. Shuddha Advaita. 
but as long as you are in a relative exist relative existence means you are able to feel i and you means first person and second person as long as there is a first person and second person see when you decide to set manifest powers oneness is the reality oneness is the truth with which you manifest powers that's ultimate truth when you are operating in relative existence be always devoted devoted even to your own oneness understand understand this word upanishad says soham asmi even when i pray i am you even when i am you even when we are one i pray to you <laughs> upanishad as a beautiful word soham asmi even when i am praying i am you so even when i am you as long as there is a relative reality i pray i am devoted to you i know you and me are one and the same but as long as there is a relative existence till i feel there is a skin for me and skin for you i am devoted to you people ask me when thousands worship you why do you bow down so much in front of the deities and understand this is the secret when you sit in oneness you should know very clearly even when i pray i am you when you are operating relative existence you should know even when i am one with you i am praying i am devoted to you in relative existence always be devoted in reality always be one understand duality is not ultimate i am repeating again oneness is the ultimate truth that does not mean in relative existence you will be arrogant no you will be humble in relative existence you will be humble that is why i say the advaita i am teaching is sutta shivadvaita in oneness even when we pray we are one with you in relative existence even when we are one with you we we are devoted to you be humble be devoted even to your own oneness sometimes when i go to devotee houses i directly go to puja room and do the puja some of the devotees will keep my photo also when i do the aarti i have to show to all i cannot move the hand <laughs> i have to show all only they ask what is this swamiji you are showing aarti to your own photograph what I, what can i do it is a symbol of my oneness i am devoted to that even i bow down to see you have both component your oneness shuddhatvaita and your relative existence to which you are going to be devoted that is going to manifest in you more and more that is going to be strengthened in you more and more kailasha is the space of ultimate oneness sachidananda ultimate oneness understand kailasha is the space of ultimate oneness and if you hear only the shabda you can read your mind if you hear only the nada of kailasha you can read others mind be blessed